Training Sergeant Mitchell, that's him, in the second to last row. Thanks. Sergeant Mitchell? Yes? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions concerning one of my investigations? Young lady, I haven't worked in investigations for a long time. I doubt I can be much help. It's concerning an old case, but I'm still looking into it. The Kirsten case? Because you can't locate the file, is that right? Yes, that's right. The file's been classified. How'd you like to do some target practice with me? Sure. Why not? Your gun is right in front of you. Go ahead. You're a very good shot. I have to say you're a heck of a lot better than most I see around here. So, what do you want to know about the Kirsten case? Well, for instance, what exactly happened? A guy named Kirsten's calmly shopping in his local supermarket. He's in the kitchen accessories aisle. When someone picks up a knife, and stabs him to death. Was the killer apprehended? He didn't move from the spot. We found him sitting on the floor next to the victim, like he was waiting for us, with this blank stare on his face. Did the killer ever try to explain why he did it? When I arrived at the scene, he'd lost all memory of what he did. He was talking, but he was incoherent. He kept saying that it wasn't him who'd done it. That's all I could get out of him. Any other interesting elements in the case? Ah, one more detail. The killer then used the knife to carve some symbols on his own forearms. Very weird stuff. It looked like a, a snake or a serpent. Maybe he just cracked, lost it for a moment. 
Some people are like time bombs just waiting to go off. That's the first theory I had. Until I saw the coroner's report. Each knife entry cut cleanly into an artery, leading to the heart with perfect accuracy. Precision like that, I mean, the guy had a one in a million chance of doing that, even if he'd been a surgeon. Excellent target. Looks like you're a natural. You didn't stop your investigation there, did you? No, this case really intrigued me. What could have motivated him to do something like that? I mean, I checked out piles of leads and, and discovered almost by accident that this wasn't the first. There had been other killings with the same profile. You mean where the killer had the same bizarre M.O. and stuck around afterwards? Exactly. Three weeks earlier, on the other side of town, another stabbing victim in the middle of the street, no motive. Then I discovered a third case, two months prior to that. Then another, and another, and always the same M.O. And in all these cases, the perp was arrested? Nope. Either they committed suicide before we got there, or else they went nuts. But each time, the stabbing was identical. They all cut the arteries leading to the heart very precisely. Then they carved a snake on their own forearms. And your investigation into the supermarket killing. Did it lead anywhere? You should drop this one, Detective. This is not just a murder case. There's something very odd going on behind the scenes. 
Looks like I'll be starting a new file. <laughs>